Emergencies, accidents, and natural disasters are rarely predictable. However, when they do occur, a rapid controlled response will likely make the difference between an effective and ineffective response. The LHSAA pregame administrative conference is a tool to support emergency readiness. So in preparation for the upcoming football season, let's review PAC guidelines for administrators, coaches, officials, and others. All of us have responsibilities to do everything we can to support the health and safety of participants. The PAC coordinates people and resources to facilitate an efficient response to emergencies. Professional research in emergency planning suggests that effective pregame meetings support organized responses that result in better outcomes for our student athletes and others. The basis of the pregame administrative conference is the emergency action plan. All schools should have a written, rehearsed, venue specific EAP that identifies people, equipment, and a communication system to promptly call for emergency care. The EAP is a blueprint, a game plan for an emergency response. A significant part of the PAC checklist is a review of the emergency action plan and coordination of people and resources. A PAC is required before all LHSAA interscholastic contests and is led jointly by the game day site administrator, the home principal or his or her designee, and the referee. The game day site administrator should be knowledgeable of the venue's emergency action plan and referees, we expect you to follow the PAC procedures we outline in this presentation. The PAC should occur no later than 45 minutes before the scheduled kickoff. PAC participants may include the principal or designee from both schools, referee and designee, security staff, and medical personnel. Per LHSA Rule 3.1, the principal and his or her designee of the home sponsoring school shall be responsible for the overall management and administration of each athletic contest. The game day site administrator and lead official are required PAC participants. If the game day site administrator does not participate, the officials should communicate this information to their RCO and note in the foul report. If the official does not participate, the school should communicate this with the RCO. Part one of the PAC checklist involves introductions, name, title, location during game, and critical we identify the game day site manager responsible for administration of the athletic contest. Once we finish the introductions, the referee should ask the game day site manager and his or her team to review security, medical, and COVID sections of the PAC checklist. Much of the discussion led by the game day administrator will focus on content in the venue-specific emergency action plan. The game day administrator may involve security, medical staff, and others to address specific items related to their expertise. The referee will then discuss pregame, starting, and halftime procedures, weather issues, lightning detector, location, staff monitoring, communication protocol, heat and humidity timeouts, and suspension of play. Finally, the referee should address sportsmanship. You will notice six stars on the PAC checklist. These items are required before we start the game. So referee, do not allow the PAC to end until everyone knows the game day site administrator, procedures for official security, the appropriate healthcare professional or professionals on site to diagnose concussions and other serious sports injuries, COVID protocols, the location, staff, and communication procedures for the lightning detector, and heat and humidity timeout procedures for August and September. As we conclude, let's remember, keep the PAC brief, focus on the why, the primary purpose of the PAC, be professional, and work together. Referees, work with the home team to set time and location. Communicate these details before game day. 
This checklist is available on the LHSA website. Select Affiliations, LHSOA, PAC Checklists. Thanks for all you do for high school sports in our state. Best wishes for a safe and successful season.